Hey yo, Chickly Gat here with some more Bloodborne. Um, last time we made a little bit of progress. We um, got a lot of blood echoes. That's an understatement. <laughs> Upgraded some stats. Yeah, unlocked a few shortcuts. It was nice. Um, in the meantime, I was going around harvesting some extra blood vials and silver bullets and also checking back to see if anything else has changed in old Yarnum. And, well, it seems that the people here are acting a little funky now. Keep on knocking, but you can't come in. <laughs> okay, I'm going to head around to some of the other windows or doors. There's one just around the, the corner here, up this ladder. You know, there's still nothing going on in that window there, so I, I guess the, the girl has gone off somewhere else over here we got this door here poor you poor poor you she's still a cackling bitch anything else Nope. Poor, 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 poor me indeed. It's like, oh yeah, yo, people are talking about different things now. And it's like, hey, let's knock on the door and see what they got to say. And it's like, fuck all from the dumb bitch in there. Anyways, there's two more doors around here and the one further up with the sick guy. Now the sick guy sounded like he had something to say. What the fuck's going on in there? Apparently nothing. What about this door? The fuck? Waka waka waka! Hoo, hoo, hoo. Yeah, fuck you too, mate. Um, yeah, so now we're just gonna go up these stairs and around the corner, and we'll end up at the window with that old sick guy. And I checked in with him before having to walk away real quick so as to preserve his dialogue. aren't apt to share any local history. <laughs> I'm afraid I may not be of help for much longer. <laughs> well, so much for having mm. something to say. Shit. Mm. Anyways, there's one last stop on our tour da old Yarnum. And that is Yusefka's clinic. We did send that creepy asshole that is apparently a liar, according to notes, off to her. And seeing as she's like dabbling in, I don't know, shady business herself, I felt more comfortable sending him here than to the church. Now, does she have any rewards for me? I see that the door is locked. We were on the other side of that. Oh, hello. You're alive. Good. I've received another patient. This time, I'll be trying old blood. I've achieved much, and I owe it all to you. Take this as thanks. Some blue elixirs. 
Oh, she gives insight as well. And cheers to the discovery of kinship. Doesn't it make you feel warm inside? <laughs> Yeah, she's not all there. Okay, so I'm thinking now that I'm a little more powerful, I'm going to go out and I'm going to try and get revenge on that hunter that, you know, waxed Eileen. So I will cut away and I will see you there. Alrighty, so here we are at the um, place where we fought the good father. And where Eileen fell in battle. And where we will be trying to seek some revenge for that insult. Where is this fucking asshole? What's well, he not here anymore? Oh, get out! The asshole is gone. Well, fuck. Well, so much for revenge, I... I guess. Unless he's lurking around somewhere up here. But I very much doubt that. It's night time now. It's not, you know, dusk. Yeah, that fucker's moved on. Oh well, I'll go and seek revenge at the with those hunters at that fucking cathedral then. Ah, oh, the hunter. Thank you. So that holy woman, you told her about this place, right? Well, she don't offer me much in the way of conversation, but still, I'd rather see her alive anyhow. Oh, nice. If you find any sane survivors, well. Send him a lot to Erden Chapel, will ya? <laughs> uh huh. Alrighty. Incidentally, as I was heading to um, the Hunters near the um, Great Cathedral to get revenge, I remembered that there was this little alley with a bunch of people to talk to as well. So let's um, let's start with this dude in the window. Enough of you. What you think this is funny? No, I don't. Certainly don't. So be gone with ya. I'll have nothing to do with your beast stones. Oh, enough with you already. Come on, just go with you. Give me something then. Oh, enough with you already. Come on, just go with you. Okay, well, he doesn't really have anything to say. What about this chick? Oh, thank goodness. You're a hunter, aren't you, dear? Might you know of a safe place? The night is long and a very little. Incense. As a matter of fact, the chapel has incense. Perhaps I'll see you there. Okie dokie. Well, that was certainly worth the trip. Um, were there any other doors? Oh, thought there was an enemy coming around the corner there for a second. Oh, there's a door. Hello. A dingo ate it. Stay away. Stay away, boy. <laughs> the fuck happened in there? Did I talk to her earlier? Help me! Please help her! The fuck are you doing in there? Help me! Please help her! Well, I guess that's the end of this little excursion. I'm going to continue up towards the um, Grand Cathedral or Great Cathedral or whatever you want to call it. And I'll catch up with you there.
Okie dokie, here we are at the front door of the uh, Grand Cathedral. Um, incidentally, that um, there was that dude, or old lady, in um, that, that, that small town in the woods that said to go to the right, which happens to be our current destination. What was it? Something about a, a treasure or something? I, I can't really recall what um, she said. But currently, my plan here is to get a bit of revenge. Provided the hunters are still here and haven't moved on like the last one. Uh, it seems to be, um, yeah. This world is um, ever-changing with each encounter I face. It's like a, it went to dusk and then hunters were showing up and then it's night and... Okay, well this one's still there. Just, um... The fuck was that? Okay, well, Darth Mole here has seen me. So far, she's got me on the fucking ropes. Okay, taste the good stuff, bitch. Oh, shit. I'm getting a little sloppy there. Come on, cunt. What the fuck? Oh, thanks a lot. Some stupid community post that threw me off there. Well, that's one down. She made me fucking work for it, though. Still, if they're anything like the um, hunter I killed down in... Um, old Yarnum, she won't be back at the very least. Still, one down, one to drown. Oh, hello. Maybe we could drop down here and... Yep, never mind. Perish that fort. Fuck you, man. You're the dude that rained on my parade last time, and now you're gonna pay. Whoa! Oh, he's using a rifle spear. Interesting. However... I'll have none of that, mate. Ooh, another door! Oh, lovely. Um, what else is around here? We've got a um, pathway going up there. Um, another lantern over here. Does it mean there's someone to talk to here as well? Yeah, we can knock on that door. Um, I'm just, um, looking around for any collectibles or items. Or ladders. Yeah. So we've got a path continuing back around. We've got a church or whatnot up there. We've got something on the roof here. So there's got to be a way onto the roof. Um, all right, let's check with this, actually, anything in here? No. Okay, let's, let's check with this door first. <laughs> Damn! What's going on in there? Ow! Yeah, we'll leave her be. What about this door? I wonder if they would have had anything decent to say if I came here earlier. If I managed to get here earlier. Oh, another gibbering idiot. 
Well, I guess I'll never know until I replay the fucking game. Um, that being said, there must be a way on the roof from up top. So maybe I can uh, drop down from the um, cliff. Looking at this. Is that the house I want? Yeah, that's the house I want. So we'll drop down from there. Okay, what have we got on the roof here? Whoa! Frenzied cold blood. Okay. Nothing too spectacular, but I'll take it. Okay. So before going through that ravine then, I guess I'll come down here and take a peek. Oh, it's one of them! Cough it up, you cunt. Bloodstone shards. Well, I don't really need bloodstone shards anymore. Do you guys drop anything better? You know, just curious. So, continuing down this path here. Got something a little heavier down here, it seems. I'm going to heal up just in case. Sounds like a hunchback. I could be wrong. Oh, it's an axe dude! Welly, 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 well. Someone. Oh shit! There's a dude up on the cliff shooting at me. Ambush! Are there any notes back here? No, there's not. Sounds like those shooters are on the move. Either way, for future travellers, I am going to jot down a note. Um, let's see... Be aware of ambush. There we are. Yeah, I did finally um, find the place where I can customise my messengers too. I gave them pots to wear. <laughs> um, so I'll show you that area once I get back to the hunter's dream. Okay, there's got to be another way to get at this asshole, Or not. Okay. Let's see if he likes the good stuff then. Oh shit, there's two of them! Well no shit, you knew there was two of them, idiot. Let's roll. No, that does nothing either. Oh, and there's two axe men as well. And I think this one's seen me. Hmm. Okay. I think... You know, don't... Don't quote me on this, but I think we might be able to get down that way if we go this way. Oh shit, it's another snatcher. Okay, asshole. Oh fuck! Not just another. S oh shit! I'm, I'm ballsing it up right here. Here, have a fucking cocktail. Okay, come on. There we go. Lovely. And. 
Let's finish him off before he can do any more damage to me. That was shitful. What's shitful? It's a cross between shit and pitiful. But I'm guessing you knew that already. Okay, so yeah, this place overlooks the um, area with those two snipers. Getting them out of the way, it'd be grand. Yeah, so we've got this area that drops down here. What do we got here? Twin bloodstone shards, fantastic, but I want bloodstone chunks now for my sword. There's the axe guys, and there's those motherfucking snipers. But you know what? Fuck it. Just hoping I didn't just go sailing past an item. Let's drop down behind him. Oh, has this axe guy seen me? I think he has. Okay, let's deal with this wanker. Whoa, shit. Well, that sucked. Pungent blood cocktail. I'll switch back to pebbles. What else we got there? Huh. Looks like there's a path going back that way, but I want to get rid of this cunt first. Oh! There's two of these guys running around. Oh, he's got bl twin bloodstone shards for me. What about that other guy? He went running this way. I think he might have um, despawned already. Bummer. Oh, damn. My bad. I wasn't even looking at what I um, picked up off the dude. Oh, well, we can get the other one some other time. They're not really too important right now. So continuing this way. Can't drop down there anyways. Tree. Coming in here, item. So I've got some funky place here. What do you got, mate? A lead elixir. Oh, if I didn't know any better, this looks like a fucking boss arena. Ah, oh, shit. Well, whether it's something I can handle or not, that's another question entirely. You know, this big ass circle. And some kind of altar in the middle here. Or is that more a brazier? And then... Oh! So 
another one of those fucking things. And can I get this door open? What does this thing do? Oh shit! What the fuck? Oh, Amidala. Oh, Have mercy on the poor bastard. What the f What the fuck was that thing? A lecture building. Lecture building? Nightmare lecture... Where the fuck am I now? You mean I was supposed to get swallowed by that thing? Oh shit. Okay. I'm going to head back to the Hunter's Dream real quick. Now that we've got a lantern here. I mean that thing tossed me in the air. Fucking crazy distance. We've got our blood vials back. Um, I'm going to head here real quick and repair my beloved sword. Because you can never repair it too much. Yeah, I don't have blood chunks. You know that, idiot. Um, what do we got here? So I'll get that strength one and that one. So, nothing calm, spectacular still. As for the, um, how I customised the messengers, yeah, there's this little path here that I hadn't noticed. And then just sort of kicking back in this little stump here, and that's where, you know, customise them, apparently. I gave them the messenger urn festival. Because it looks funky. Okay. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here. I'm going to see what I can buy from the doll. Welcome. What is it? In terms of um, channeling Let blood echoes. See. Let's see. So I could probably swing two upgrades. No, I can just swing three. Now, whether I should... How much life does that give? That gives a ton of life. Also gives some defense. Eighty-eight. Right hand weapon two attack. Right hand weapon one attack. So what's weapon one and weapon two? I'm assuming that weapon two would be the short sword, judging by this. Hmm, interesting. Putting all three into there, I only get, um, like, two upgrades. They, um... It's like, one, and then... That gives plenty more to my attack than strength alone. So, all three there, it goes 86 and 148. But, if I do that, it's 290 and 150. What if I put it all in there? Well, it, it seems that, um, 
three in skill is best for that right now. I could go more life, but I think I'll go with that. Okay, so I don't have to worry about losing those echoes. Um, which gravestone or headstone has... It wasn't an abandoned workshop, it was um, a library or something. Lecture building. Nightmare headstone. So these are all the, the different areas. That's like, um, yeah, Yarnum, Frontier, Unseen, and not... Well, let, let's check out the um, lecture building. Seeing as I went to all that trouble going down that way and killing hunters, you know, we might as well. I'm just going to check on how I'm doing for time real quick, and I'll be back. here I am back at the Hunter's Dream. Um, I was going to, well, I did go into the um, fucking thing a little bit, and I stuffed up the recording. I didn't really do too much in there. I did die, but yeah, I had nothing to um, lose anyways. I... Ended up going down an elevator shaft. <sighs> For some stupid reason. And I was busy looking at the um, spectre of a, a hunter. Not, not one of the um, dead spectres, but one of the white ones. And I sort of followed him into the darkness and ended up down a pit. And I was like, shit. That being said... Um, yeah, I think that the area itself is a place to come back to a little later on. So I'm going to um, come down here into the woods and, you know, poke around this place first. I won't bother with that snake dude. I'm just going to come straight down here. But, yeah, didn't miss too much. Some sinister lady rang a bell, but, you know, nothing came of it. I'm not sure what it meant. I, I, I did think that I was, like, being invaded or something. I was like, what? But, yeah. No invasion, just fucking... An elevator shaft of doom. Damn. Where's my mind at? I'm, I'm not um, treating these guys with the diligence that I was the last time. I'm just swinging wild. Um, any more of these snaky bastards? Well, I know there's plenty of them, I just don't want to get shanghaied by them. I was assuming that um, going through the mines would have um, got me up onto this ledge where this axe guy is, but that wasn't to be the case. Ah, oh, hang on. I think I know how to get up there. I got to employ the jump. There we go. Fantastic. See, I love it when an idea works. Feels awesome. So what have we got around here? Just the one axe guy? I wonder if we can sneak up on him. Wouldn't that be something? Holy shit, I can sneak up on him. Executed the Executioner. And all that for just some twin bloodstone shards. But still. What did old matey drop there? 
He dropped some blood vials, lovely. We'll run this snake through. Now for the most part, I've pretty much been everywhere around in this um, wood section now, except for the um, path that I was um, ignoring to go back to that mine shaft when I fucked up the recording. Oh, you survived that? Well, let's try one more. Yeah, I, th I think my original approach works better. Takes a little bit of time to arm. Um... Ooh, murky blood jam stone. I will take that. Yoink. Is that another one? Yep. Gemstone 2, that's just a regular bloodstone. Yeah, there's a, a snake man up here and a cluster of snakes behind that rock there. There we go. Oh shit. That's right, that's that's the problem with these wankers, they strike very fast. And I'll just run that one through with my sword. So yeah, there's not too much up here, it's just a um, cliff. And what have you, where there was, a, there was an item right in front of that snaky dude. But it, I got it, it was um, Bloodstone Shard. And then I came down here and I saw this big motherfucker and I'm like, yep, nope. And I went to turn back to go to that mine to take a look around. Whoa! Let's see if we can coax them up this way. There's like a fire there. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll fucking get caught on that. It's like a frickin' Hydra or something. Oh, there's another one up here. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, the snakes as well. Well, this looks like an area where we can go back and drop down. I'll just try and get that done as quick as I can. Twin bloodstone shards, yeah. Nothing else along here outside of that. Okay, now I'll turn my attention back to this big motherfucker. Actually, he's turned his back. Maybe I can make him regret that. Lovely. So he's worth a, a pretty handful of blood echoes. Another item over here. What do we got here? Um, some thick cold blood. Anything around the back of the trees. A little path. A ah, clear deep sea. I still need to uh, discover the way to... Um, Use those fucking runes. Yeah, there's an item way down there, but... I mean, you know, I've read... In the thing that I need the uh, memory altar. 
and me friend, um, fucking confirmed that I need the memory altar. It's just, how do I get the memory altar? I need the fucking tool. Oh, shit. Yeah, no thanks. Oh, well, this guy wants to go at me anyways. These guys are a little more tolerable with the firearm. Come on, go for it. Fucking hell. Well, so much for tolerable. I stand corrected. They're not tolerable. They're intolerable. Anyways, I'm getting back there and I'll join you then. Okie dokie, here we are back down near the snake men. There's an item behind this crypt here. Oh, statue. Madman's knowledge. Wait, did I just see another item? Uh, no, it was probably just a flash of a torch. Uh Okay, there's that frickin' um big dude. Oh, there's another item right there. I still gotta go and get my um echoes back from that snaky bastard that killed me. But for now I'm content in having a look around the place. Oh. And that looks like a place where we could jump across, but at the same time it looks like a very risky jump. Let's um, wait for the energy to come back. The problem is there's a little too many of these um, baby snake monsters. Oh, two for one deal there. Lovely. <coughs> okay, I think that's all the small bastards. Aha! Come on, just sit on that campfire, mate. Oh no, he's a little more smarter than that. There we go, got him. What is that noise? There's an item down there. So even if I... Oh, it's one of those fucking alien things. Yeah, there's an item down there, so even if I do balls the jump up, you know, I've got a ledge to fall down on, it seems. Um, I think those snaky bastards, the um, snake men were around this side, weren't they? Oh no, this was... Uh, there, oh, there's my blood echo, it's fantastic. So nothing can consume them. Let's um try battling this thing some more. Yeah, the jump arm attack is an invaluable move to just force the way and um, close some distance. Seems to work really well on those big um, snake monsters. As for those um, snake men type characters, I th at least um, with the earlier ones further up the um, track, I found that my um, simple um, longsword works best on them with the thrust attack. But um, in order to get like the thrust attack, you've got to be sort of locked onto them. And yeah.
Um, yeah, there's still that item there, but then we've got like the snaky bastards there. So this place is crawling. Some shining coins there. Time for common sense. Oh, shit. Yeah, the common sense was I turned my back to the enemy. And I shouldn't do that. Okay. Oh, I balls that up. That would have been a good chance to... um. Oh, there we go. Lovely. I missed the first opportunity to do that. Wasn't going to miss that second one. Okay, this guy sees us automatically. Uh, yeah. Rushing him like that isn't wise. I guess I'm not close enough to get the um, parry. I was right in his face there. There we go. Wasted enough bullets on him, but we got it in the end at least. He's dropped some blood vials. Lovely. Lovely. Uh, yeah, this was just a dead end up here, wasn't it? Um, uh, got an itchy nose. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Ah! Okay, I'm all good. We are out of danger for the moment. Okay, let's try and sneak up on this snaky bastard. There we go. I'm not going to have any of your antics, mate. So on this body, we've got... Oh, bloodstone chunk. Finally. We're getting some. Uh, this continues going down that way. I mean, really, I could drop down and do like a massive attack, but ugh, it, it, it'd be a gamble. It would. Um, yeah, there's that item down there. One of those pesky ass ghosts. Yeah, I'm gonna try and make the arm um, jump across this um, gap here. Oh, well, I fucked that up. Ah. Okay, there we go. Fuck off. Okay, so what, what, what is this item I busted my knees for? Madman's knowledge! Brilliant! Okay, so where does this go then? Um, some more madman's knowledge. So I've ended up in this ravine here. Uh, with these frickin'... What's that behind that tree over there? I don't want to know. What the fuck are they? They look like the standard alien looking dudes, but with fucking tentacles. Fuck that noise.
Okay, let's um, deal with this wanker and then we can um, worry about the other two. Oh shit! By the looks of things, they shoot like some sonic blast out. Okay, I got the attention of one. Oh shit! Roll out of there. I got one dead. Hit this last one with the good stuff. Okay, what's on this dead body? Anti-clockwise metamorphosis. Interesting. Okay. Continuing on down this way. It seems a couple of people have died to those fucking things. I'm just glad I'm not one of them at the moment. What are they? They're like... I don't know. Looking at them, they're like um, mushroom people or something. And I, I think about it. I don't know. Either that would fucking jellyfish with arms and legs. It's more madman's knowledge. Oh! I wonder if this um, leads back to that mill. And we go up the, um... the elevator. That might be the case. So we've got a cave there, but there was also a divergence up here, I think. And we came down there... One of your notes was rated fine. Fantastic. Wait, which one, I wonder? There was no time um, going on about the ambush. I had a no time um, regarding a sneak attack, and... I'm not sure how many other notes I've put down. I put a, a note down saying beware of the dogs. Oh, look at this place. If this doesn't scream boss fight, I don't know what does. Nah, can't be a boss fight. That looks like a dog over there. That sounds like a pig. And it wasn't a dog. It was a fucking headstone reflecting light. Damn. Though I know for certain that that's a pig. Oh, there it is. If it's anything like the last pig I encountered, it'll tear me a new asshole. Um, twin bloodstone shards there. Lovely. Yeah, this looks like it loops back around to, um, the, uh, mill. Now I've got the fucking mill on the mine. The mill, the mill, the mill. Run of the mill. Fuck, where am I now? Okay, I want to get at this pig. There we go. Up the ass. Or not. Oh shit! Those things have the ability to poison? Fuck! I was too busy, um. 
fucking around with the items. Oh well, I'm gonna get back to this fucking porky pig, and I will see you then. Okay, here we are, back with that tub of lard in me sights. I'll try not to get shanghaied by the fucking thing this time. Come on. There we go. The best way to deal with these fucking pigs is get behind them like that. They're fucking powerful. But, yeah. They're not too great once you get behind them. Um, where did those fucking blood echoes go? Oh, there they are. All the way over there. I hear something hissing. Um, though, looking back this way, I want to, I want to run back this way real quick. I can come and look in this swamp later, but, um, further up this way looks where, like, where the, um, buildings are. So, I want to take a quick look up here. Some kind of village or something here. Is that a snake? Yeah, it is a snake, man. Fucking hell. Okay, come on, make your move. There we go. Perhaps it's just better to stand still and wait for him to um, attack instead with the snake people. Just offer a cool, calm and collected um, target to attack and react. So, yeah. This goes further up. There's... well, oh, what's that? Ah, oh, that's just a fucking spectre. Doesn't look like there's any item here. But there's another like mine shaft and if I'm one to guess well I generally try not to guess, but I'm guessing this is the mine shaft that goes up to the mill. Yep, there we are. Well. That is groovy. But it wouldn't even let us um, operate the um, device back up the top there the last time. Unless I've got to send it up, or... Okay, why isn't the device working then? I mean, it should work if... Okay, I'll do that. I'll send it up and not fall into the abyss. And then next time I could probably use that as a shortcut coming down. Anyways, I think I'll end it here. This has been Jiggly Gut, And I'll see you next time for some more Bloodborne. Peace out.